Welcome to the show. This is Philip H. Anselmo. Hey, everybody. This is Ricky Rackman from Headbangers Ball. Hey, guys. This is Aaron from Betraying the Martyrs. Hey, what's up? This is Mike D. from Chill Fitch Engage. Hey, this is Scooter Word from Cold. And you are listening to... And you are listening to... And you are listening to... And you're listening to... You are listening to... Talk to me. 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 With Joshua. What is up, congregation? Welcome into Talk To Me. This is episode 235. The guest this week is AJ of Fire From The Gods. We talk about the brand new album they have out called American Sun, and they are currently on tour right now with Five Finger Death Punch, Three Days Grace, and Bad Wolves. If you're listening to this on post day, they've got an off date with Bad Wolves at the Firmament in Greenville, South Carolina. Friday, they're in Greensboro Coliseum with Five Finger Death Bunch, Three Days Grace, and Bad Wolves. And Saturday, they're at the UTC McKenzie Arena in Chattanooga, Tennessee with Five Finger Death Bunch, Three Days Grace, and Bad Wolves. All of this is over at firefromthegods.com. So make sure to check that out and go check them out on tour. They are such a great live band. And uh, support support all of our friends over there at the uh, Five Finger Death Punch and Bad Wolves camps. Let's dive into an iTunes review. Got another great new iTunes review this week. This is from our friend uh, Pimpin' Ho. Uh, five stars, great podcast for the later day heavy music fan. Joshua keeps the listener in tune and up to date with artists of heavy music. And he's a swell guy too. Great interviews and killer music. Keep up the good work. Devil horns emoji, tongue sticking out emoji, devil horns emoji. Thank you, uh, Pimp and Ho, <laughs> out there in the uh, Apple podcast land. If you guys wanted to leave a nice five-star rating, nice five-star review, that would be much appreciated and read on an upcoming episode of the Talk To Me podcast. Also, if you guys want to support the show monetarily, the best way to do it right now is to get one of these fantastic Talk To Me t-shirts. $25 free shipping in the continental United States. I've been shipping out a bunch of these shirts, so I've got a sizes small through extra large left. So reach out to uh, paypal.me slash talk to me. $25 free shipping in the continental United States, like I said before. Just hit me up with your name, your address, and your shirt size, and I will get one out to you ASAP. All right, guys, let's hear a nice little word from our good friend Scott Bowling down in Atlanta, Georgia. My name is Scott Bowling. I have a show called Good Company. Good Company is a show where we film artists in the rock genre, and we talk about their first record all the way to where they are now. We've interviewed bands like Korn and Seven Us and Rich Ward. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook under Good Company or Good Company with Bowling. So please, if you get a chance, check it out. Good Company! And make sure to hit up Scott Bowling and let him know that you heard about him on the Talk To Me podcast. Looks like he's got a great episode with Sonny Mayo coming up soon. And uh, he got a nice photo with Sonny holding a Talk To Me t-shirt. And I think that was one of my uh, one of my better episodes from way, way, way back in the day. So, so go check out the Sonny Mayo episode of the Talk To Me podcast. And once again, guys, hit up our friends at MerchLive.com who made the new Talk To Me t-shirts. Hit them up over there. Go uh, check out all of the different t-shirts they have over there from... As said before, Five Finger Death Punch, Metallica, Megadeth, Pantera, Slayer, Anthrax. You want it, they probably have it. Use the promo code TOOME10 at checkout for 10% off your entire order. Yes, that is TOOME10 at checkout for 10% off your entire order. And once again, T-O-O-M-E-Y-1-0 at checkout for 10% off your entire order. So let's dive into American Sun off of American Sun by Fire From The Gods. Check out my interview with AJ listen to some uh, some more fire from the gods and then i will talk to you guys momentarily i am the refugee who's the challenge i did i am the future everything you need to be i am the chosen i am not your enemy i am the one from the american sun i shed my skin my own self wasted away while i'm sitting in the corner contemplating better days i free my mind in a million different ways, I'll no longer be a pawn in that power struggle game. I see the wolves, but they need to wait while I still remain to flesh out all these demons in my brain that always drain. The life goes from my veins, cast me away, push me to the limit. Wanna see me fall right off the summit? When I was 
man just getting uh getting a getting a good chance to sit down and talk to you it's actually kind of nice not to have to you know do it at louder than life you know actually get the chance to you know not just do the quick you know 10 15 minute interview and actually uh get into this new album man it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time yeah man so let's let's shoot 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 uh let's go let's chat let's talk american sun Let's do it, man. So the new album, it's out now. It's on uh, 11.7. Uh, the last album was on Rise, as we know. Uh, and, uh, you know, Zoltan kind of came into this from Five Finger Death Punch and kind of just talk talk about how you guys met Zoltan and how much has, uh, he has met to this band and, you know, and this uh, this album. Uh, well, the, the situation that really arose through our attorney who... Uh, also represented represents Five Finger Death Punch and represents uh, a slew of other artists. Is that Eric and our Eric Sherman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He uh, he knew that that um we were we would be looking for a new management situation uh, because our our contract with our manager during narrative had come to a close, and he knew that the band was going to need some help and some direction out there. So, you know, he just casually, uh, he casually uh, sent the, the music over to Zoltan and said, hey, check a look at this band. And Zoltan, he, is, he, is, he was already somewhat familiar with fire, with fire from the Gods. And, he, you know, he's like, what's the situation? He's like, well, they're looking for a manager. And Zoltan was already coming off the success of uh, with Bad Wolves, having brought them up under his wing. So, you know, it was just a natural fit. And we had this conversation about what Fire from the Gods was. And see, for, for the longest, my issue was what was what the only one issue I had with the narrative was that a lot of people didn't really understand what the band was trying to do, what the message was, or what we were really trying to convey. Some people, you know, had this idea that we were this rap rock band that was some sort of trying to make some sort of political statement. Others, were very confused because, you know, songs went from in transmission to 
themselves to like, excuse me. So they really didn't understand what the clear view was. But Zoltan immediately understood. And he, he was basically speaking my language. He was saying, he's like, I understand that this band is not a political band. You're not trying to make a political statement here. It's more of a social humanitarian awareness, a, self, a, a, a self-realization uh, is the message. And immediately I was like, dude, let's, let's work because he got it. He, he completely understood what I was trying to convey and what the message of Fire from the God is. And, you know, he's it, been super influential. And I mean, we've done, this is our second Fire Finger tour now. And so having done one Fire Finger tour and before American Sun came out and the band already saw a, an uptick in attention. And then once American Sun has been out and we're on another Five Finger Tour, there's been a major upswing in awareness of, of the band and people are really getting the message and, and, and it's really being, uh, the record's being serviced, so to speak. And no fault to Rise Records because Rise Records has a philosophy and has done very well with that, with that philosophy. But I think both parties understood that in order for this band to grow, we were going to have to be in a double situation, and Zoltan provided that, and it, it's been tremendous thus so far. Now, listeners of the show know my connection with with Five Finger being through Chris Kale and knowing him, you know, kind of growing up, and so I kind of see the band, and I've kind of seen him in the band kind of grow. And the one thing that I've I've noticed, and even going to, uh, you know, I went to see Slayer a couple of nights ago, and it wasn't even a packed out arena, but I go see Five Finger, and it's People are everywhere, you know, 16, 20,000 yeah. people. And I don't think that, you know, love them or hate them, I, I, love them or hate them, I don't think you can downplay the importance of Five Finger Death Punch in this in this musical landscape. Of course, of course. I mean, you hit the, the nail on the, the, the head, uh, uh, the nail on the head, so to speak, with that statement, because people... You know, so, and another thing you said is like, you know, you got all these haters and all these people that say things about, you know, five finger death punch, they're not metal enough, and that's not metal and stuff like that. And you know what? And so said he's like, I don't give a shit. I don't speak. I don't see one spiked leather jacket or or or, <laughs> or uh, you know, golf kid there. You know, he's like, I don't. I don't see that. He's like, I see a bunch of different people from all walks of life and 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 in massive crowds, families, people that really support. And, and get what they're doing. So like you said, yeah, they're, they're, they're a very important band. And Zoe wants to take that philosophy that he's built with, with Five Finger uh, uh, and uh, about planting a flag and making a statement in this music. And he's trying to do that with sort of curating the, uh, the rock scene and curating um, the, the, the playlist, so to speak. And then, you know, bringing up bands like Battles and, and we're the next one. And I know he's working on some something else right now, which is going to be a, a, a huge announcement. Um, you know, I'm not at liberty to talk right, about right. it, but I know he's got something else in, in the uh, in, in the world soon. And uh, we're pretty stoked. Now, kind of going into this new album, you know, where did the um, where did the inspiration come for American Sun? Obviously, it could be kind of a, a you know, the, the word son can also mean, you know, uh, father, son or a son. So, yeah. so, so, you I mean, you've kind of got the, exactly. the double entendres there and stuff like that. So, so kind of just talk us through American Son and, you know, what it, and, you know, what's the message you want to get across? Because if so many people had uh, issues interpreting the, the past albums, you know, what are you trying to get across on this one? Uh, you know, so American Son is, is a bit of a continuation to narrative in the theme of what Fire from the Gods is about, about being self-aware and, and accepting responsibility for your actions and, and grasping, uh, you know, seizing the day, so to speak. But American Sun, and hence the reason why the play on words here, is that, yes, we are five guys in a band that are American Sons, but the American Sun, as a celestial being, represents a bright new day, represents a new dawning, a dawning of a new age, the birth of a new American son, the rebirth of the American son as a child, but birthing into the, the, the light of a new day. So it's really about uh, uh, the full manifestation of who you want to be. And out of that darkness, the darkness that was narrative, and into the light of a new American son, 
So it's really about transformation and change, about birthing a new day, birthing a new dawn, uh, the full manifestation of the American dream. Like the new American dream is basking in the light of a new American sun. And, it, you know, it's not a patriotic statement by any means, but it, it does mean and point towards the fact that we, as a people here in this country, we believe that we are a cultural and social leader, a global leader. And if we are going to continue to be that, which I firmly believe we are, but if we are going to continue to do that, and if we are going to continue to be this world leader, we need to fully realize who we are and out of the darkness of our past and into the light of a new American sun. And there, at the end of that dark tunnel, there is hope, there is light, there is life. And the sun represents new life, represents a new day, represents a new dawning. So we will all be able to bask in the light of a new American sun, so to speak. Yeah, that's uh, that's an amazing concept, and the 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 American Sun, the title track itself, is kind of one that stands out to me, just because I mm-hmm. love I love the the reggae infusion into the you know the newer right. the newer metal and stuff, and, and just uh, there's just something about the 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 feel of reggae and the feel of uh, you know all, all of this new metal that's kind of come out is very on a grid, and and you know every snare hit is exactly the same, and blah blah blah, but when when oh, yeah. when the the feel and the in the uh, emotion of reggae is is so natural and and alive, you know, so so it's nice to kind of feel that Earthy. infusion into the band, yeah. Yeah, man, it, it, you know, it's like having grown up with a uh, with a, with a Jamaican background and a reggae background, my roots are in reggae and heavy music. So we didn't want to just we're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. But we want to take all of our influences and really kind of give it the best infusion. And, and that was the, the, one of the main reasons we worked with uh, Eric Ron, mm-hmm. because Eric Ron, having come off the success of Godsmack, um, he is, you know, he's like a new metal kid as well, you know. So he kind of understood what I was trying to do, but he, but he better understood that there is a better way. There isn't. It's not a better way, but there's a different way to infuse rock, rap, hip hop vibes, reggae vibes, and not have it be some sort of variation of Rage Against the Machine or some sort of variation of of Limp Bizkit or some kind of skin dread rip off. You know, like we, we didn't <laughs> yeah. want to be that band. We didn't want to be the band that just says, "Oh, we're going to just take from this, and you know, we're going to take from the Death Tones. We're going to take from." Corn, we're going to take some POD and then we're going to just write songs that kind of sound like that and then hopefully repackage it and say, this is new, this is newer rock. No, we really wanted to build from the bottom up and, and make a grassroots record that took all the elements of, of what we like about heavy music, hip hop. So we call it a rock record with a hip hop ethos. Nice. You know, and um, American Sun, you know, touching on the title track. Um, going back to th- that point, uh, you know, there are a lot of, like, heavy political, like, buzzwords in there, like refugee, enemy, you know, but the, and, and these things are intentional. It's not to strike a chord with someone politically or to create a us versus them or, you know, add to the divisiveness that's already rampant in today's media and in today's social climate, but again, pointing to the general theme of American Sun and what the record's about, we are all refugees running from something. We're running from our dark past. We're, we're, you know, we're, we're leaving our dark past. And the establishment of our nation, of our culture, were people that were running from something, that were leaving something behind, whether it's been re- religious persecution, whether it's been uh, you know, social status and looking for a new for a new dawning, a new light. And this is not an this is not a new concept, the idea of what the American dream is or what the or what an American son can be. But utilizing those aspects and then turning that into a social um a social awareness and, and bringing social awareness to it is that we are all looking for something new. And in this time that we in in the in the current social climate of this darkness that we're in, we can all fight this thing together and and conquer together as refugees running from the past to, again, you know, not to 
taken up on a tender spot to bask in the light of a new American sun. And so it, it, the, the um, title track is really about rebirth from, uh, you know, out of the darkness and into the light. Hence the, the, the reason why it is a title track and hence why, you know, you're saying, I'm not, I'm a refugee. I'm not your enemy. I'm everything you need to be. I'm the American sun. I am the future. I am the bright, the, the, the youth that we need to put a little bit more attention in, on, on and, and give them a chance to survive. Uh, we are all this, this refugee running into the, to, to the light of a new day. Yeah, the whole, you know, the, I try not to get too political on the show, and I know you guys talk about not being a very a very political band, but I mean, the the idea of the American dream and, you know, an, an actual refugee coming here or an immigrant coming here properly, you know, coming through the proper channels and things like that, but I mean, right. but the immigrants of this country... I see it every day. You know, the the ones that are here to to better their life and better their kids' lives are working, really? you know, eighty hours a week and and in jobs oh, yeah. that, that that the typical American do not want. And and uh, right. you, you know, like even um, you know some of these like uh, the, you know, I hate to see gas station attendants or whatnot. But I mean, those dudes that that take over those gas stations that that work, you know, work from sun up to sundown seven days a week so that their kids will have a better life. You know, that's a very unselfish person that I don't know if I could ever be. I've I've thought about that a ton. You know, there's I don't know if I could. I understand for sure. You know, you know, maybe I'm too American, <laughs> the lazy American in me, or something. But but yeah, that's a the very um, unselfish person that I think that you know this country is kind of built on. Exactly, and that that spirit, but that spirit, um, that that spirit of inventiveness, that spirit of 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 hard work, it's something that. Is is not we are not strangers to it, and we understand what it takes. And the average, you know, the average uh, American, you know, and like you meet these guys that five finger shows. Hence why Zoe thought it would be why he thought a band like ours would make a lot of sense because these, you know, the, these are the backbone of America, so to speak, the blue collar guys, the marginalized groups of people, and fire from the fire from the gods. We speak to the marginalized. We speak to those that feel like they're on the fringe. And we try to be this unifier to bring us all together. And another reason why the theme of this record differs from the theme of narrative, which the theme of narrative was Unite or Die. You know, it was very strong and and, and, and even polarizing in the sense of saying Unite or Die. But the theme of American Sun has been, you know, we've, we've got this new tagline, In Us We Trust. So it's a unifying factor and all these marginalized groups of all these people that think they're on the fringe and and the battle lines have been drawn we want to be this unifier here where we're saying we need each other to survive and if we don't unite if we don't trust in the us factor then we're, we're going to lose in the end and at the end of the day we, we don't want to have a we don't want to give our youth and our children like you said these people that come in and work very hard they want to get their children their future so we all want these things, and we don't want to give our, our the next generation a bleak future. So we trust in us now, so that we don't have to uh, we don't we don't incur the dark times that can that can come if we continue on this path of just hate and divisiveness and 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 division and and anger and and, and death. You know, if we continue on that road, we will not um, survive. But if we do. Uh, change our thought process. If we do change our hearts and, and minds a little bit, we can all really see that that brighter future together. And so we want to be a unifier here, and not a not a, a polarizing band by any means. To be the one that say choose us or or or, or, or no, we want to be the unifying factor. Absolutely, and to make it a uh, completely full circle, I mean Zoltan is the the embodiment of uh, you know getting away from a third world country to get here and, uh, exactly. you, you know, making guitar, what was his first guitar made out of a coffee table. And, uh, now he's driving like, you know, bazillion dollar sports cars and things like that. So, so he's the embodiment of yes. uh, someone getting away from, from a, from a bad situation and, and coming to America to make, make something for himself. Exactly. 
Yeah, his story is super interesting, man. We, you know, we he and I we sat down over over dinner sometimes, man, and I just sit there and listen to the guy, and he's, you know, he's he just he just really has it. He has it. He has this vision and this this ideology and philosophy, man, that I really think we, uh, you know, especially the rock industry needs to really take notice because we people think that rock is dead and people think rock is dying, but the numbers are, are, are now speaking uh, against that. And, you know, pricing is continuing to do numbers. Bad Wolves, uh, it, it has, a, I guess, another number one <laughs> single. And Fire From The Gods, having dealt with, having now transitioned into 11.7 in this group, we've had our first top 20, our top 20 singles. So Congratulations. In the pudding, in the, in the, and thank you, man. And, and the, the concept is, um, is there, and the proof is in the concept. So, you know the guy. The, the the guy is someone you can you, you can trust, and when he speaks, you listen. You know, absolutely. Uh, just a couple quick things, and I'll let you get off here. I know you got a, a day today. Which is, uh, did they say why there was a venue change today in uh, in Alabama? Did they was it ticket sales or just uh, something well, the, crazy or what? No, no. The plant the plant is an outdoor venue, and I I, I know this is right now. It's an, it's unseasonably cold here. Right, right. And it there is. was rain expected. So I think it was just a last minute venue change. But uh, you know, as far as we know, ticket sales were all uh were really strong for the plant. So I'm expecting that this place is it, it it's pretty nice in there too. It's kinda cool. It's like looks like a church, but well, I was saying ticket uh, honestly I was saying ticket sales more in a positive like you needed to move up venue, not like not trying to trash yeah, yeah. and say it was down. Oh no, 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 yeah, not yeah. at all. I just think it should be it was because the plant is is outdoor. Okay, and cool. So they just had to move it inside, but this place is fucking massive, so I'm more than confident that it's going to pack out. Cool, and I did see some video a little earlier of you doing a chop suey with bad wolves. How did that come about? Yeah, uh, well, I guess you know I've known Tommy and Doc for a while, and they're they're kind of like my uh, they're like if we were in college, they would be like my older sorority brothers kind of, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Because yeah, I've, yeah. I've like, I've, I've, I've observed them in their careers for years and, you know, we kind of come out, come up out of a similar scene. So I'm like kind of their little, like the little homie, so to speak. So, <laughs> you know, Tommy's always like really been a, a, a big fan and a big cheerleader, so to speak, for fire from the gods. And now that we're all part of the same, you know, industry family wise, you know, he's like, well, Let's do something, man. You know, let's bring you up on stage to chop suey. And so I was like, yeah, man, I don't if I can do it, dude. Especially, you know, it sheds light on fire from the gods, and then, and it also shows that there's more than you know, there's there's camaraderie there. And uh, the uh, collaboration with Sonny from POD for they don't like it. How did that come about? Yeah, man. Well, that that was through management and a little bit through myself and Sonny when POD took us on tour. With them and Alien Air Form, we uh Sonny and I vibe super heavy on on, on the reggae, you know. And POD has a uh, has a huge reggae influence on their music, and I didn't know how deep uh, Sonny like, like was in in his knowledge of reggae and Jamaican culture. But when we were like sitting there vibing and hanging out on tour, man, we was really vibing super super well and, and clicking on our love for reggae music. And so our manager brought up to us uh, when we were in the studio months later, obviously, actually a year later, but because we went on tour with uh, POD in 2017. So about a year and a half later, she goes, well, uh, Sonny would really love to do a song with you guys. And immediately it clicked. You know, Eric, the producer, was like, fuck yeah, because like, like I said, he's a new metal kid, so he loves, uh, he loves POD. I love POD. The bad dudes were like, yeah, so we just started getting to work on the music for um, They Don't Like It. And, uh, you know, we knocked out everything and just left the space for him to do his thing. And unfortunately, I had to leave the studio the the day he came in to do his bit. But we kind of FaceTimed and we were on, uh, we were constant contact throughout the day. And uh, he dropped his verse. And I was like, damn, dude, I want to go back to California <laughs> and redo my verse because Sonny's verse is so dope, you know? So, um, it, 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 you know, it was, it was really just uh, something over time uh, and, and the connection. And Sonny's always had an encouraging word for me. And we, we, check, we kept 
kept in touch even off the tour and stuff like that. Man, Sonny's a real blessing, man. He's, a, he's an awesome dude, a really dynamite, loving character, man. He's got this rasta soul about him, you know, and, and, and it's so it's so refreshing. So, um, you know, it, it was just a match made. Like, we were definitely going to have someone like Sonny on the track. I was talking to LeJean, too, about doing something, but LeJean was also working on Senator stuff as well as his own solo stuff at the time. So we couldn't get together on it, but uh, you know, Sonny, Sonny is a great addition to the record, and and he really, really killed it on that track. So obviously, with you know Seven Dust, Lejean, and then uh, you know doing some touring with POD, you know doing the touring with uh, the multiple tours with Five Finger Death Punch, now off days with Bad Wolves. You know who's kind of on the uh, the bucket list of bands that you want to tour with at this point? Oh, man, I'd really love to do something like Slipknot and Deftones, you know? That's like that, I know. <laughs> That'd be an insane you know, tour, coming period. Back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, uh, so, we, you know, we really want to, we just want to get out there and, and continue to work and obviously make, you know, we want to plant our flag and put the put the world on notice that we are a legitimate, uh, we are a legitimate band and that we do belong amongst the uh the, the rock elite out there. We just really want to just work and work. So whoever comes up, man, we're like especially if it's one of these bands that we are fans of, it makes it it makes it a hell of a lot easier. But um we, we definitely want to get out there and, and continue to work. And uh I guess last major question, what's uh give us a couple of names of some dudes that we need to go check out in the reggae world. You know, obviously past Bob Marley and, and all that. You know, who are some, oh, some good well, dudes we need to check out? I mean, I listen to a lot of like dance over and stuff like that. So there's this kid called Massacre, who I've been checking out a lot. M A S I C K A play on the word massacre. Okay. But um, yeah, he's he's a he's a wicked DJ. Um, uh, another one is Popcorn, like proper, like you know. And then there's a, there's like a a crop of young um artists coming out of Jamaica right now that that are really, really doing it. I mean, Damien Marley signed this kid, I forget his name, but and then there's this other young girl who's coming out of Jamaica right now. They're, they're still fairly fairly underground as far as the, the world stage is, but um, there's a there's a lot of cool newer reggae coming out of uh, Jamaica right now. That's, that's really sick, man. Nice. And uh, what, what track do you want us to close this out with off of American Sun and maybe give us a quick story about it? Wow, that's a that's a good <laughs> question, man. Um, you know, man, there's so much on this on that record, and and you know, I was listening to it last night with the the, the boys who were sitting there because listening to songs that we don't play live, and just going through it. Um, one of the like the low key like kind of sleepers on the record for me is the song "Fight the World." Um, just has a lot. It really embodies what we were going through and what I was going through personally over the, the year and a half where we were kind of in transition between labels and not knowing what to do. And there was a lot of chatter going around about who the band was. and A lot of things that I was saying was being misconstrued. And I was going through a lot personally. And so I was just kind of backed up against a wall, I felt. And I needed we needed to do something and I needed to be action that needed to to have been taken and so um, when all else fell I didn't know what to do I just said you know fuck it I'm going to fight the world so not fuck the world but I'm going <laughs> to fight the world I'm going to fight and this whole this whole shit storm of that's, that's, that, that's piling up against me I'm going to fight back and um, hence the the, the, uh, the the song Fight the World and um, it, it, it's a, we do play it live but um, I think it's a sleeper on the record it's one of my favorite tracks on, on, on uh, American Fun all right, AJ. Well, uh, continued success with the uh, Five Finger Death Punch tour and uh, the new album American Sun. Much, and uh, it's been it's been fun watching your career and uh, continued success, man. Thank you so much, man. It's great talking to you again, my friend. All right, man. Take care. All right. Cheers. Bye. Get the fuck up! Snap a gas who's back I want to the for my anger I'm sick to death of these rats They drop my name through the mud Put a price on my head Shorten my words Corrupting everything I said
sin I got a fire in my belly Veg is tossing through the things I'm sick of all their lies So I spit up in their face I'm digging deep inside And I like to drain my way Fill me up with lies Feeling hated and despised Wanna put me in the ground But I'm ten times rooted down All of that hate is split back in my face I carry it all, I carry that burden in my pain No longer living my life in disgrace Dig deep and activate my brain All right, huge thank you to AJ, a fire from the gods, for coming on the show. So cool to see him out louder than life and then get him back on the show uh, supporting the new album. Great dude. And uh, man, if I had that voice, I'd have all the listeners <laughs> on the podcast. So once again, hit up our friends at MerchLive.com. Use the promo code to me attend at checkout. Hit up our friends over at Good Company with Bowling podcast coming soon and hit me up if you want to talk to me t-shirt that would be fantastic and make sure you are a member of the talk to me facebook group the talk to me congregation a lot of fun stuff over there a lot of rants a lot of reviews a lot of polls a lot of uh this and that and a lot of uh good good conversation over there so hit us up talk to me congregation become a member on the facebook group and that would be uh, that would be much appreciated. Sometimes you get these episodes a little early if you're in the uh, in the congregation. Hit us up over there, Facebook.com, the Talk To Me Congregation. So for the Talk To Me podcast, I am Joshua Toomey, and I will talk to you guys soon.